Match number 28 of CPL 2020 shall uh, feature the Jamaica Talawas against the Barbados Tridents. Let's build our fantasy team then on my 11th Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Cricket 4. I'm Rana Kapoor, all set to join me, Darren Ganga. Right, let's go to our pro tip for this one. It's been a disappointing season for the Barbados Trident. Still a semi-final to look forward to for the Talawas. And as we look at our pro tip, it suggests that if Mujibur Rahman isn't available, then Sandeep Lamichane becomes a captain option. And you could also go with the inform Glenn Phillips as your vice-captain. Also, if Rashid Khan isn't available, then Mitchell Santner is an alternative value pick. Let's get Darren's thoughts uh, on that. Darren, what, what do you make of our pro tip? Well, I, I think you're right. Um... You, you just never know which player will get the opportunity. Most of the Tridents, they might just give opportunities for guys who have not had a chance to play all season, haven't been knocked out of the semi-finals in the last match. Uh, for the Talawas, it's been an interesting journey for them. Some bizarre matches. They've struggled a bit with their batting. They've been heavily reliant on Glenn Phillips, Andre Russell. So I'm not quite sure if they might try Nicholas Curtin, another option in their batting lineup to see if they can get the best 11 for that semi-final match. So, it all depends on the availability. Some teams might just keep some of their players as secrets for the semi-finals. It's, it's all about the gamesmanship before uh, the do-or-die semi-final matches. Quick reminder on the My11 Circle Fantasy app, 100 credits for every user to pick their fantasy team. Four categories of players to choose from, batsmen, bowlers, wicketkeepers and all-rounders. You can pick a maximum of seven players from one team in any particular matchup, And uh, you've got every player's individual credit value listed on the app. Remember, apart from the 11, you can also pick four substitutes and we'll help you pick those towards the end of this episode. Let's go to our top recommendations. Among our captain choices is Mujibur Rahman. The Afghan spinner continues to thrive this CPL. The sort of numbers he's shown in spite of bowling in the power play with the new ball have been nothing short of incredible. 13 strikes in eight matches, an average of under 11, an economy rate of under 5. It's been Mujib's season with the ball. Don't look beyond him for captain if he plays. Sandeep Lamichane features as our vice-captain. 10 wickets in 7 innings. 3 less than Mujib. An economy rate as impressive. Under 5 again. So, uh, Tridents have struggled to uh, get 3 successive uh, sub-100 totals and just haven't found a way past spin, which makes uh, someone like uh, Sandeep Lamichane a prime uh, prospect. If Mujib doesn't get you, perhaps Sandeep Lamichane is short. Certainly will. Glenn Phillips features among our top picks. We know the sort of form he's had in uh, not just this year's CPL, but even in the past. He's been a consistent player in this tournament and therefore features regularly among our top picks. Andre Russell is there as well. Strong case for him to bat up the order. Wonder what Darren makes of that. But uh, wherever he bats, he's someone who can get you points on his day. Quick reminder, Mujib is captain, Lamy Chane is vice-captain and Glenn Phillips and Andre Russell among our top picks. Happy with that, Darren? No surprises there that all four players uh, come from the Jamaica Talawas. An indication as to how horrible the Tridents have been as a team, uh, not being able to win consistently. Um, Andre Russell, of course, a lot of people uh, believe he should be batting higher up. He's batted primarily at the number seven position and he's had to come in and deal with very, very challenging sort of equations where the run rates are in excess of 10, even going close to the 15 marker. So, I think he's better served impacting the game earlier, scoring at his fast pace and make it, making it easy for the peripheral players. These two teams, they require the local players to step forward. If you look at what's been happening, uh, more so for the Talawas, they need the likes of uh, Jermaine Blackwood, and Krumah Bonner, even the captain, Rockman Paul, to add to the brilliance that we've seen from these four players. So that, to me, will be significant if the Talawas are to go deep in this tournament. Well, you still have to pick four players uh, from the Tridents. And let's start with our value picks, which features Kyle Mayers, the 27-year-old left handers uh, had scores of 7, 10 and 2 in his last three innings. And that has also coincided with the Tridents' decline. Yes, an older side is now out of the competition or in contention for the playoffs, at least for the semi-finals. So, Mayors could play with some freedom and we're backing uh, somebody who came up with uh, an 85 or 59 the last time that he played against the Talavas. Rashid Khan doesn't regularly feature in the value picks. He's more a top recommendation, but with the sort of wicket-taking form that's just eluded him in the last few games, uh, we're uh, getting Rashid Khan as prolific a bowler as he is in T20s among our value picks. Looking at our value picks then, Rashid Khan and Kyle Mayers. Our full team features Glenn Phillips as your keeper option, Johnson Charles, Asif Ali and Jermaine Blackwood among your batters, Andre Russell, Jason Holder, Kyle Mayers, 
as well as Mujibur Rahman, Sandeep Lamichane, Rashid Khan and Raymond Rifa is there as well. Substitute recommendations from us, Mitchell Santner, Ashley Nurse, Rovman Powell and Fidel Edwards. Now, some of these players, Darren, is often recommended in the 11s itself. Darren, thoughts? As expected, you have a lot of the Talawas players in there. Um, the Tridents, you look at that team and outside of Rashid Khan, outside of Johnson Charles and Carl Mayers, uh, there's, there's l- very, very little substance uh, from players with bat and ball. Um, I, I like Mitch Santana. He's, uh, he's not gotten a lot of opportunities with the bat. Uh, anytime he, he did get an opportunity, he was unbeaten at the end. Uh, he bowls in the ball playovers. So I think uh, from a Trident's perspective, you can put money on him to do well. Um, outside of him, I think uh, Fidel Edwards, as mentioned in previous uh, picks, he's uh, shown good form. He's been given the option to bowl the new ball ahead of O'Shane Thomas. And that's because of his consistency, his control, and he's taken wickets as well for the Talawas. So those are two players I would say would feature in this match and might be able to bring you a lot of points. Darren Ganga, always a pleasure. Thank you very much. More from you as we approach the semi-finals of CPL 2020. Don't forget to look at the playing 11s and only then confirm your fantasy team. And we'll be back with plenty more expert opinion, analysis and data that helps you build your fantasy team on my 11th Circle Fantasy Pick on ESPN Frickin' 4.